Bartolomeu Dias, a nobleman of the Portuguese royal household, was a Portuguese explorer. He sailed around the southernmost tip of Africa in 1488, the first European known to have done so. Purposes of the Dias expedition, Bartolomeu Dias was a knight of the royal court, superintendent of the royal warehouses, and sailing master of the man of war, Tsar Pando Cristocube Bar Pando. King John II of Portugal appointed him, on October 10, 1487, to head an expedition to sail around the southern tip of Africa in the hope of finding a trade route to India. Dias was also charged with searching for the lands ruled by Prester John, who was a fabled Christian priest and ruler. The expedition, Dias ships R. Pando Cristocubed Bar Pando was piloted by Paru de Alenca. A second caravel, the Tsar Pando Pantalia Pando, was commanded by Joe Pando Infanti and piloted by Lvaro Martins. Diaz's brother Paru Diaz was the captain of the square rigged support ship with Joe Pando de Santiago as pilot. The expedition sailed south along the west coast of Africa. Extra provisions were picked up on the way at the Portuguese fortress of Tsar Pando Jorge de Mina on the Gold Coast. After having sailed past Angola, Diaz reached the Golfo da Consiaca Pando by December. Having rounded the Cape of Good Hope at a considerable distance, Diaz continued east and entered what he named Air Garda de Tsar Pando Braza Euro later renamed Mossel Barra Euro on February 4, 1488. Diaz's expedition reached its furthest point on March 12, 1488 when they anchored at Coihac, near the mouth of the Bushman's River. Where a Padra Pando Euro, the Padra Pando de Zar Pando Gruga Cubed Rio Euro was erected before turning back. Diaz wanted to continue sailing to India, but he was forced to turn back when his crew refused to go further. It was only on the return voyage that he actually discovered the Cape of Good Hope, in May 1488. Diaz returned to Lisbon in December of that year, after an absence of 16 months. The discovery of the passage around southern Africa was significant because, for the first time, Europeans realized they could trade directly with India and the other parts of Asia, bypassing the overland route through the Middle East, with its expensive middlemen. The official report of the expedition has been lost. Bartholomew Diaz originally named the Cape of Good Hope the Cape of Storms. It was later renamed the Cape of Good Hope because it represented the opening of a route to the east. Follow up voyages. After these early attempts, the Portuguese took a decade long break from Indian Ocean exploration. During that hiatus, it is likely that they received valuable information from a secret agent, Para da Cavila Pound, who had been sent overland to India and returned with reports useful to their navigators. Using his experience with explorative travel, Diaz helped in the construction of the Tsar Pando Gabriel and its sister ship. The Tsar Pound o Rafael that were used by Vasco da Gama to circumnavigate the Cape of Good Hope and continue the route to India. Diaz only participated in the first leg of Gama's voyage, until the Cape Verde Islands. He was then one of the captains of the second Indian expedition, headed by Pedro Lvares Cabral. This flotilla first reached the coast of Brazil, landing there in 1500, and then continued eastwards to India. Diaz perished near the Cape of Good Hope that he presciently had named Cape of Storms. Four ships encountered a huge storm off the Cape and were lost, including Diaz, on May 29, 1500. A shipwreck found in 2008 by the Namd Diamond Corporation off Namibia was at first thought to be Diaz's ship. However, recovered coins come from a later time. Personal life, Bartholomew Diaz was married and had two children, Sima Pando Diaz de Neve, who died unmarried and without issue, Anticube Nio Diaz de Neve, a Knight of the Order of Christ, married to Jonah Fernandez, daughter of Ferna Pando Pius and wife Guioma Montes. Diaz's grandson Paulo Diaz de Neve was a Portuguese colonizer of Africa in the 16th century. Diaz's granddaughter, Guioma de Neve married twice, as his second wife to Dom Rodrigo de Castro, son of Dom Nuno de Castro and wife Jona da Silveira, by whom she had Dona Paula de Neve and Dona Violante de Castro, both died unmarried and without issue, and to Pedro Correa da Silva, natural son of Crista Cubed Bar Pound o Correa da Silva, without issue. See also, 
Diogo Carpando, Diogo Diaz, Diaz Cross Memorial, References. Further reading, Bartolomeu Diaz, 2010, External links, that this article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, A Herbermann, Charles, Ed Bartolomeu Diaz. Catholic Encyclopedia. Robert Appleton Company, A Catholic Encyclopedia.